Hey everybody and welcome to another Monday plan with me. This week I am planning from the 5th to the 11th of November and the kit I am using is the Autumn Mini Emoti Kit. I have the full boxes, the sheet with the boxes, weekend banner, icons and headers and then you have your bottom washi, some headers, some flags and some checklist flags and then I also have the add-on sheet which you could use for your sidebar. Uh, all the icons and that I'm going to use for this week are going to be from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, I'm going to use the blue date covers from this Anything Else sheet and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use for date covers yet. I'm going to try and use some gold foiled washi to cover the top up but my only autumn one happens to be leaves on white and I have run out of white out so I might actually see them through this but I might actually leave the top because it is blue and there's blue in the kit so we'll just see how we get on with that and I shall get into placing the kit I didn't bring any glitters because I'm not quite sure what glitters to use but we'll see when I get into placing all the kit down so for kit placement I place the washi along the bottom and I leave the dates how they are because they're blue so they'll go with the kit I scatter the headers and the deco boxes and for the sidebar I use the last full box and two checklists for meals and cleaning and then lastly a habit tracker to mark that my girls do their reading every night I think these headers went really well um, they are from the Plump Planner on Etsy yeah, they are the Autumn and Christmas I think they're called all Autumn and Winter you get a sheet of autumny colours and then a sheet of um, Winter Christmas type ones so I think they went really well with this kit just hope I don't need any more headers to go with any other kits because I've used most of them now and like I said I just used the last full box and some of the quarter boxes to fill in my sidebar but that's it for kit placement and I shall now get into my day by day starting day by day um, to start Monday uh, both girls are back to school after a week off so I'm just going to use a graduation emoji for that one and then every Monday has to start with a coffee so for that I use a half box from the kit which already has a cup on it also with it being Monday you can't forget to share your weekly spread so I use a Instagram doodle obviously I have this plan with me that went live at 5 p.m. so I use the YouTube emoji on top of a half box
And lastly, I just have to binge watch all the uh, Pam and May videos. And for that, I have a cosy MOT from one of the fall sheets. Tuesday, I meet my mum at town. So I use another half box from the kit that has an MOT holding a cup. And for a shopping list, I use one of the Emoti checklist flags. I don't write anything next to it though because I'm not quite sure what I want to be picking up yet. I want to try and pick up a few Christmas presents when I'm out. So to mark this, I use a a flag and a Christmas shopping emoji and then lastly both girls have after school clubs so for my eldest I who has homework club I use an emoji holding a pen <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And my youngest has film club, so I use an emoji from the musical sheet. It hasn't got like the musical notes, it just looks like it's writing, so I thought that would be fine. Wednesday, I want to film Friday's video, so I use another one of those flags with a YouTube play button. Uh, laundry needs doing, so I have a laundry emoji to mark that. And I need to do some promoting for Your World of Colour, which I use an Instagram doodle for, on top of a flag from the kit. I want to get some blog work done so I have a laptop emoji from a fall sheet. I just place this on top of a quarter box or are these appointment boxes? I know quarter boxes are the plain ones, I think those ones are appointment ones. My nails are in need of a bit of TLC, so in the evening I am going to paint my nails. I just leave space in between in case anything else comes up. Thursday I need to do some Facebook sharing for Your World of Colour. So for this I have a Facebook emoji. I need to edit Friday's video, so I use a full quarter box for this. These full quarter boxes are, um, you can buy separate, you can get a full sheet of them. Um, with Christmas coming up, I want to sort through the girls' toys, so to mark this, I use a pumpkin emoji. These were from the Halloween release. You could buy individual ones, shed fairies and all sorts. Um, my eldest has after school music, so I use a half box and a musical MOT to mark that and it is I also need to put the bins out this night so I just use a quarter box at the bottom and just write in which bin I need to put out To 
start Friday, it is my focus cleaning day, so I use another full quarter box. I need to film next week's plan with me, so I use a YouTube play button on top of a flag from the kit. I also need to promote the video that will be going live on Friday so I use a quarter box and <coughs> sorry excuse me I use a quarter box and a icon emoji from the kit to mark that I have a video that will be going live on Friday so I just use a half box from the kit and a YouTube emoji just to mark what video and the time and lastly it is family time so I use a cosy emoji from a fall sheet Saturday I want to do the voiceover and edit next week's plan with me so I place a half box and a emoji icon from the kit I also need to do some promoting for Diamond Prints designs so again I use an Instagram doodle I might do some baking with the girls so I <coughs> use a half a, a quarter box from the kit with an MOT eating I know I the quarter box I'm gonna leave blank in case anything comes up but the MOT eating pumpkin pie is to mark baking Sunday is going to be a busy day so as usual I have the my checklist for what needs to be done for the girls for Monday so I use two of the half box checklists um, I also have laundry to do so I use another quarter box and a laundry emoji and then I use a flag at the bottom because the girls do need to have an early night and I have this sleeping sticker from a freebie sheet and I just mark early night I've left the gap in case anything comes up I'm just going to place my weekend banner along the bottom and fill in my checklist for the girls of what I need to make sure gets done for Monday morning so we're not rushing around 
So I just write in uniforms, bags, pee kit, water and bath. I also then go ahead and fill in my checklist. The bottom one is my cleaning one, so I just write kitchen, living room, bedrooms, hallway, mop. And then I fill in my habit tracker, which is obviously reading for the girls. But that is everything that I have placed down. I'll just go through and check everything and then I will be back to show the spread all done. Is this week's spread all turned out? Um, I don't know if I mentioned the head glitter headers were from the Plump Planner. Um, I've never used a kit from the Coffee Monsters Co before. Um, obviously, I've purchased emotes, but I think it looks good, and I'm definitely going to order the Christmas one, and I'll use that in December. Um, but if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and I will see you in my next video.